Hello and welcome everyone to Variety Stick and we back again for another video. Today I do have the new Google Pixel 4a and the Redmi Note 9 Pro. I'm gonna run a speed test to see which one's gonna be faster. So let's find out. Now just before we kick off with the speed test comparison, I want to explain a few important things. First of all would be the pricing. The Google Pixel 4a as right now price tag 350 still a decent price for a phone like the Google Pixel 4a and the Redmi Note 90 Pro 225 available through wirelessplayers.com. You guys will find the link in the description box for the Xiaomi. And by the way, the price is temporary right now, 225, and they are expecting the price will go up because Xiaomi running a special deal on this specific model. So you guys, if you wanna get this phone, go ahead, hurry up and get it right now. For the Google Pixel 4a, I will leave the link in Amazon where you can purchase the phone uh, directly through Amazon for $350. In my opinion, both phones have good pricing right now. And also the specs are so similar, except one thing I'm going to explain that to you right now. That will be the processor. In the Redmi Note 9 Pro, we have 720 Snapdragon. On the Pixel, we have 700 and 30. I'm excited to see the difference between these two phones as far as the uh, processor. Also both phones have 6 GB of RAM. Uh, I believe the Pixel 128 GB for the storage while the Xiaomi has 64 GB but that has nothing to do with the speed test video. Now how my speed test gonna run? five different stages. The first stage will be rebooting test. Restart both phones just to see which one gonna run the operating system faster than the other. And it's good to mention that uh, the Google Pixel 4a receive update for Android 11, but I haven't pushed the update yet because the Redmi on the Android 10. So we wanna see the performance on the Android 10. In the second stage, we're gonna check the fingerprint scanner on both phones to see which one gonna unlock the phone faster than the other. Third stage, we open a Chrome browser and we check the internet speed browsing for both phones, which one's gonna visit the website faster than the other. And then the fourth stage, we have apps and games. We're gonna open at the same time, just to see which one gonna open and load this game faster than the other. And then we're gonna check the ROM in both phones and six gigabyte of RAM to see which phone gonna perform better than the other. In each stage, we're giving the winner a point. At the end, we're gonna take the aggregate and then we're gonna announce the winner. Now, it's good to mention, this is only a speed test. There's a lot of aspects. It's not gonna be covered with this uh, video, but if you guys wanna see video like this, leave this in the comment below. Round one, the restart test or booting test. Now, as we have noticed, the Google Pixel 4a much faster to load the operating system than the Xiaomi, but that was expected because the Google Pixel has a stock Android while the Xiaomi has custom UI with MIUI 11. So no doubt the Google Pixel is the winner in the first stage. So we're gonna give the Google Pixel point to bring the result 1-0. Round two, we're gonna try to unlock both phones with the fingerprint. The Google Pixel has the fingerprint located on the back, while the Redmi has it on the side. Let me try and be accurate as much as I can and try to unlock both at the same time. So let's do it. I noticed the Redmi was faster. Yes, seems to me the Redmi it's a little bit faster to unlock the fingerprint. Yes, the Redmi fingerprint, the one located on the side is faster than the Google Pixel 4a. So in this round, we're gonna give a point to the Redmi to bring the result 1-1 one, one so far. Round three, the browsing test. I opened Chrome already, I cleaned the history. So no website, they were open on the background. So we're gonna go ahead and start open a website at the same time. And let's kick off with gsmarena.com. Now the Google Pixel was faster to unlock. Let's try uh, CNN.com. Let's 
seems to me the pixel was faster yes the pixel is faster let's check phonearena.com I noticed in phonearena.com the readme was a bit faster so let's take another website and let's try metro by t-mobile uh, the Google Pixel 4 is faster for the internet browsing, so no doubt the Google Pixel deserve another point to bring the result to 1. Round 4, we're gonna open apps, games at the same time, and I have cleaned the background for all the application were open, so we're gonna start fresh, and let me show you. No apps on the background on both phones, and let me kick off with a light application like Facebook app. Xiaomi was faster, so let's keep going. Uh, we're gonna do Google Play Store. Uh, no, the uh, Pixel was faster. CPU Z. Pixel faster. Uh, My Tom 2. Pixel is faster. Timber Run 2. Redmi was faster. Asphalt 9. Pixel was able to load the game faster for Asphalt 9. And Redmi finally managed to load the game. It was very slow. So let's check another game. Now I'm gonna skip Need for Speed because we have some problem running the game. So we're gonna go to Sonic 2. It is faster on the uh, pixel subway surface. I just realized the uh, readme was a bit faster with Gunfighter. A little bit faster on the Pixel. It seems to me like the Pixel is a bit faster to load the games, but it's not a huge difference though between both phones' performance between Snapdragon 720 and 700 and Theory, but still I'm gonna give this round to the pixel to bring the result 3-1 We're gonna check the ROM management in both phones as I said 6 gigabyte of RAM So this is equal and let's start with the uh, Facebook Both kept Facebook on the background Google Play Store Both kept Google Play Store so, so far so good for both phones CPU Z so far so good and uh, my time too amazing job for the ram in both phones so far timber run 2 yeah both did actually great now we're gonna check asphalt 9 i'm receiving update here i'm just having me say no Both actually reloaded uh, Asphalt 9, so both actually they're doing the same exact thing here, no much difference. Let's check uh, Sonic. Both kept it on the ROM. Subway Surface. Seems to me the same performance. So I'm gonna give each phone a point as a draw in this round to bring the result 4 2.
Now the winner is the Google Pixel 4a with 4 point versus 2 points to the Redmi, but that doesn't mean this is an ultimate comparison. There's a lot of things you have to take in consideration. For instance, the Redmi has larger screen, a glass, build construction actually is kind of better, a faster charging 30 watt, bigger battery, and the Google Pixel 4 has all its screen, 128 gigabytes of storage, and in my opinion, the camera and the Pixel is way much better than the Redmi, even that we have quad camera over here. You guys choose the phone that you want, pays in your preferences. That was just a speed test for uh, the hardware, and it seems to me the Pixel has better hardware than the Redmi, but the Redmi is a cheaper device. Anyways, I wish you guys find this video helpful. If it did, thumbs up and subscribe for more videos here on Variety Stick. Thank you so much. And I will talk to you in the next one. Peace.